Me personally, or like team wise? Team wise first. Oh, um, team wise, I just think we just got to put uh, better quarters together. Um, I think our defense, you know, the second quarter wasn't great. Uh, fourth quarter could have been better. Uh, but you know, we went back to the drawing board. We should be ready to go tonight. We've heard a lot about pace of play over the last couple of days. Why is that so important to you guys? Um, because we want to play, you know, up and down. Um, we want to get a lot of possessions in. But if we can't do that, if we don't get stops, and uh, if we got to play against a set defense every time, it don't work in our favor. Yeah, what will doing better on the transition do for players like Nicola and avoiding that double team and helping them getting more shots? Um, it's good. Um, I mean, they're going to double Nicola mostly all night. We know that now going in. Um, we've been getting up a lot of shots, so we can um, help them out, you know, in that area. And, uh, you know, he can pass it, so if he get it off the rim, he can push it in transition and find guys. So it's big for him and it's big for us if he can get stuff. Monte, what's the key to getting that second unit rolling? Um, I mean, I feel like we've been rolling all year. It just was one game where we didn't play our best. Um, we're not really looking at it that way. Um, we've been playing good in practice these last few days. Offense been going good. Um, it's just all about us just having a game. And uh, I think tonight, the type of players we are, we're going to play a lot harder than we did in game one and uh, try to be better. I can't tell you we're going to make shots or not, but <laughs> we play hard. Monte, those threes that come from those doubles to Jokic, that's an ideal outcome for you guys, right? You're okay with that? You just have to hit the shots? Yeah, I mean, um, we are comfortable with uh, any guy taking that shot. Uh, we all been making it all year. Um, so whoever the ball finds, you know, we just got to be shot ready and ready to let it fly. Um, that's the only way they're going to stop or alter anything. If we make them make adjustments. So we just got to make shots. You know, it's a good game plan over there, you know, in the Spurs. Locker. Monte, does that Bryn Forbes, Gary Harris battle feel just like an old school Michigan battle to you? Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, they both went to Michigan State. Um, both, uh, you know, played with each other a lot, so they talk a lot of trash on the court. Um, and I just think, you know, it's good for them to go at it. Um, they know each other the game pretty like they hand. They play a lot of pickup together, so. Uh, watching them go at it is, I mean, it's good to watch. How long have you known Bryn for? Have you gone up against him? Yeah, I mean, I played Bryn in high school. Um, he was a year older than me. Um, so I played against Bryn uh, probably like four or five years. So I've been knowing him for like six or seven. Speaking of Gary, it'd be easy with all the in and out of the lineup he had to kind of get frustrated to get down. But, hit, but he's a, he always carries this kind of even keel approach, and now he's playing as well as he has all in quite a while. How much does his approach just you know rub off on this? Uh, I think it rubs off on a lot of people. Um, he's a guy that don't complain at all. You know, he just come in and work, work his tail off. He don't complain about shots. Even when he was going through his slump, you know, he just stayed at it. Um, and just said, man, it's going to be better days. I know it's coming. I can't keep missing. Uh, he, was, he was actually right. I had a heck of a game one. Monte, you know what the G League's like. For a guy like Derek White, you see what he's mm -hmm. done. What's impressed you the most about what he's been able to do on the floor? Um, everything, um, honestly. Um, I got a chance to play against him when he was in Austin when I was in McAllen. Um, he was scoring about 14 points a game down there, playing really well. So I know once he got his shot up here um, in the NBA, he would do a fantastic job. And he's in a great organization. Um, he's been running that team really well, stepping up, playing with confidence. So. Um, me knowing Derek, I know what a player he was down there. Um, I just knew it was all about him getting an opportunity. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man.